Don't you ever come back to my house again. You moneyless high school dropout. I will never let someone of your likes marry my brother, ever. Hold your horses, Autumn. Hitting me and then tossing me out of the house like that? And now you're calling me a moneyless high school dropout? Why do I have to be the one treated like this by you? I had to do all of that in order for you to understand what part of society you're really a part of. And you will not be allowed to marry my brother who graduated top of the class at Harvard as a dropout. I really have no clue how you were able to fool him into wanting to marry you in the first place, but I'm not a simple-minded. You are a lowlife, so you go find one of your own kind to marry. Lowlife? I get that people like to judge others a lot based on their education, but I've never run into anyone as horribly judgmental as you. I'm sure you only ever wanted to be with my brother because he's going to be bringing in lots of money, right? <laughs> you don't actually have an ounce of love in you for him, right? Well, I'm not letting some witch like you have my brother. Are you freaking kidding me? I love Fred with all my heart and I've been wanting to marry him for such a long time that's the whole reason why today your parents asked for me to come over so we could talk more about the wedding and everything but to think that his little sister would be the one out of all of Fred's family to slap me and then force me out of the house I cannot believe what's happened I'm so sorry Aline <laughs> I not only graduated from Harvard myself, but I was also top of my club in karate. So I didn't think that that small slap would be so powerful towards your weak little body. <laughs> well, I promise that from now on, I'll be a little bit nicer with my swings. Y you're calling me the weak one? Yes, I am. <laughs> not only are you a lowlife, but you don't even realize how weak you are physically. <laughs> You only tried marrying my brother so that you could get to his money and nothing else, right? He made it out of Harvard top of his class, so not only is he extremely cool, but he's working for a very well-known and large company. <laughs> but man, I'm so surprised that he's already being taken advantage of by a loser like you who only wants to trick him for his money. I told you already that I want him because of my love for him. Calling me a lowlife and a weakling, though, that's not okay. I get that I dropped out of high school, but that does not give you any right to treat me like I'm garbage. Well, let me just say that a high school dropout with no money is the same thing as a cockroach in this world. So I'm going to start calling you that instead now. I'm sure your family never had any money for you, so there was no hope of you getting into any college, right? That's why you just gave up and dropped out. Hmm. So you should just go find someone your own class and marry them instead. All you're doing by coming after my brother is ruining his image as a successful young man. This is getting nowhere with you. You're just going to keep calling me horrible things based off me never graduating high school. And now you're even calling me society's cockroach? <laughs> That's probably why you're just like society's gorilla, throwing hands without even bothering to understand the situation first. You are the worst of the worst. Huh? You have no right talking to me like that, you cockroach. You lowlifes all need to shut the hell up. You and the rest of your kind need to stop thinking that you can marry people like my brother. I'm withdrawing my offer to you. Huh? I'm not going to let someone as violent and explosive as you come work with me. The way you smacked me without ever talking to me first just goes to show that you don't care about anyone besides yourself. Did you know that I could tell the police right now about what you did to me and they'd be all over you? I might just do that. And since you'll have the police on you, I can't have you working with me. I... I have no idea what you're talking about. What the hell are you talking about having that offer withdrawn? Autumn, you are pretty much done with school now and have been looking for work, right? You happen to send in a resume to Green Earth LTD asking to come work, right? You must have heard about that from my brother. <laughs> well, that's exactly right. <laughs> I'm one of the best students from my class at Harvard, and I have been given an offer already by Green Earth to go work for them really soon. 
And did you know that I am also working at Green Earth? And since I'm working in the HR department, I'll most likely be the one responsible for hiring you. Excuse me? I'm sure you totally forgot about the conversation you had with me before, because you were so happy to finally find a company that would offer a job to you, right? I forgot about you a little bit as well, until today when I first saw your face at your house. You... you're lying, right? There's no way... Uh, there's no way in hell a dropout like you is working for a company as large as that. If you're having a hard time believing me, then go take a look at the offer I sent to you before, and you'll see my name on it signed at the bottom. That should have already arrived for you, so you can have a look yourself and see the proof. What? I feel bad that I'm already having to withdraw that offer from you, but in exchange for that, I won't be calling the police. Ah, but having heard you call me a cockroach a couple times now, it makes me wonder if you've looked in the mirror lately. You might want to take a look at yourself as well after this, because you will have just lost all your pride. <laughs> huh? Well, I guess you are still that violent gorilla, and unlike you, I'm just your average adult that knows how to act in situations like these. So be happy that I've been kind enough not to want to have the police involved. Now good day to you, Autumn. I'm so sorry about what happened yesterday with my little sister. Autumn has always been a little too involved with other people's education, and really likes to judge them based off it. I just never assumed she'd be the kind of person to come out of nowhere and slap you though, just because you dropped out of high school. Has the swelling gone down yet? Are you going to be okay? I put ice on it right as I got home, and most of the swelling is gone now. That's good to hear. But I'm sure it's not just your face that is hurting right now. She said a lot of terrible things about you, and I'm sure that hurt your heart just as badly. I actually don't care a whole lot about what she called me, so don't worry. After my parents' business failed, I had to drop out of high school. During that tough phase in my life, I had to see a lot of people change really quickly into completely different people. And when it comes to how people look at me now because I never finished high school, there are a lot with views like Autumn. But unlike all those other people that care so much about education through schooling, you learned a lot at home helping your parents, and in the real world working jobs. Even now you are working at such a large company, making bank. I myself am so impressed with you and feel terrible that you have to live with people like my sister around you. It hurts. Thank you for thinking of me that way, Fred. Anyway, how has Autumn been after a day has passed? Both myself and my parents have been pissed with her, so she's starting to settle down now, and all of today she hasn't left her bedroom. Well then, that must mean she hasn't told anyone yet about how I withdrew my offer to have her work for Green Earth. Huh? What do you mean you withdrew that offer? Actually, a little while back she received an offer from this company asking for her to come work for us. But I told her yesterday that the offer would be withdrawn now. This doesn't even have to do with the company itself, but the fact that we will not allow anyone as violent and explosive as her to come work here. What? She got an offer from your company to come work there? I knew you were an amazing person for being able to land a job there in the HR department, but you're telling me you offered her a job as well? I guess that's why she's been so happy recently about getting an offer from her number one workplace. She must have been talking about Green Earth. I'm planning to have a formal email sent to her very soon, telling her that she will indeed be losing that offer to come work here. I'm hoping that after seeing that, she'll be willing to leave her room. Do you think I've gone a little too far by doing this, though? No way. No matter what the reasoning was, she has no right hitting you like that and thinking it's okay to do so. If anything, I'm happy you're being that strict with her. For a while now, my family has had a lot of trouble handling her. So I'm hoping that after she gets a taste of reality with that email from you, and the company, 
She'll turn her attitude around and become a responsible adult. She's been that much of a problem for you guys? She's always been such a pain in the butt for anyone that doesn't have the same or better education or work than her. And it's not just toward strangers either. She'll act like that even to her own family members and close friends. There was even a time where one of her cousins failed their exam at school, and she told my parents to never let that whole family be a part of ours again because of it. What? She's even told friends of hers that went to less popular colleges than Harvard to go away because they aren't as good as her. She's even worse than I thought. To think there are people that base all their judgment towards others off only their education and work? It's sad. I just told my parents about how you're withdrawing that offer to her. They both told me that they're thankful for what you're doing to her. Also, they'd both like to apologize to you at some point for what my sister did. It was because of her that we couldn't finish the talks that we had about the marriage and wedding, right? We'll have to put another date together so that you can meet my parents again, okay? Wait, is that alright? Of course it is. And this time, my sister won't be allowed to join us, so you won't have to worry. Maybe the four of us could go out to lunch or something. It'd take our time talking about all of this. That would be perfect. I'll talk with you later about a day that'll work for me. Can you make sure to talk with your parents then about said day and make any reservations? Sure thing. I'll see you later then. Hello. Long time no see, right? How's your head doing after a month has passed since I smacked it? <laughs> Perhaps it's still a little bit swollen? <laughs> Oh, my, I never expected I'd be hearing from you again, Autumn. Does this mean you're finally coming to apologize to me? Huh? <laughs> Why would I ever do that? There's no reason for me to apologize to a cockroach. I mean, I was totally in the right hitting you in the head like I did. <laughs> what? Thinking you could marry my brother when you never made it out of high school? You deserved a good hit to your head. So I'm not apologizing to you for anything. You had the job offer that you bragged so much about canceled, and yet you're still acting like this? Then tell me why the heck you've come to talk to me today. I've come to teach you once again what kind of low-life scum you really are. <laughs> me? I'm already pissed that someone with no education like you wants to marry my brother. But not only have you tried to do that, but now you've stolen my offer for that job at Green Earth. There's no way a company like that has any use for you, as all you are is a waste of their payroll. Yet you think you're everything to them there and can do whatever you want to a Harvard graduate like me. So I've come back once again to teach you just how low of a cockroach you really are, Aileen. Um, I just want to get this part straightened out a little. Both Fred and your parents have been really upset with you, right? You've had that job offer withdrawn from you, and they had to tell you just how pissed they've been. However, even after all of that, you still haven't learned to play nice? So far, no matter what I've said to my family, they don't seem to catch a hint. They're all from amazing schools, yet have zero common sense. I mean, my brother was taken advantage of by you. And my parents may be smart, but I guess they never made it out of an Ivy League school like me. I've started to learn that none of them understand just how amazing of a daughter and sister I really am to all of them. Oh. That's why I'm going to be using far smarter and superior people from now on. With all these new people in my life, they'll be able to see just how amazing of a woman I am and will brag about having me around. And then they'll help me get rid of you. I'm going to get that job offer back from Green Earth and will take your place. So if you're wondering who these people are, they happen to be your higher ups within that company, including the CEO. <laughs> you're talking with the CEO? <laughs> Those like me who have degrees from Ivy League colleges can do anything they put their mind to. <laughs> And not only that, they can get the help of anyone, including CEOs of large companies like Green Earth. 
That's why today I went to your company. And I went in front of your CEO and all the other managers and told them how upset I was that a high school dropout like you withdrew my job offer. You, you're lying, right? You went all the way to the CEO about this? And of course, the CEO understood my plea. <laughs> he listened to everything I had to complain about and told me he'd handle it all as soon as possible. I knew someone like the CEO would be able to understand a Harvard grad like me. <laughs> and soon I'll be allowed to work for the company in your place and help bring this company to the next level. Autumn, you really cause a lot of problems for everyone around you, don't you? Maybe I'm just too good for all you lowlifes, and that's why you're all left with problems? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you're going to be fired now because of me. This is what happens when a dropout like you thinks they can fight back. Your life is over now. I can't wait for you to see it, you cockroach. <laughs> you're the one that's about to see the end. Huh? Huh? You said you went and cried to the CEO, right? And you told him about how a high school dropout like me withdrew that job offer? Yeah, I made sure to explain all my complaints to them. I told them all about how someone like you is just a cockroach to this world and that you're ruining their company. And then explained that they're better off getting rid of you since it's not a great thing for them to have you on their payroll. <laughs> And then I ended my talks with them by saying they are best off firing you and not even giving you a package in the process. <laughs> well, that cockroach you keep talking to them about happens to also be a part of this company's leadership. Did you know that? Huh? The CEO of Green Earth happens to be the same as me and was also a high school dropout. He happens to know a whole lot about the world of business, but due to family issues, had to end his public schooling in high school and leave. I can't believe you'd go in front of someone like him and start saying such things about people like us. Are you sure? I'm actually really jealous that he was able to become the CEO of this company without even having to graduate from a university or anything. And many other people are jealous of that as well. But my jealousy has faded ever since he brought me up to his level and made me the HR department leader for the company. I wasn't able to get here overnight, though, as I had to prove to him that someone with the same past as him could also work hard, which I did. And after he saw that I was built for this company, he brought me up to his level, allowing me to now work alongside him. He's even told me that I'm a very serious worker, and he wants someone like me to rely on when need be. He really seems to have a liking for people like me, and that's why a lot of management within this company are people like us, who have had issues in the past with schooling, but are serious and knowledgeable workers. What? And I think he agrees with my choice of withdrawing your job offer. And I mean, even if you did start to work here, you'd never last. Well, let's be real. It's going to be hard for you to work anywhere in this world. The only thing you'll be able to pass to get an interview anywhere is the company's preliminary hiring process because of your education. But after that, they'll see your behavior and immediately get rid of your resume. You're lying! Do you think other companies are going to do the same thing to me like yours has? They sure will. I'm pretty sure other companies are already learning about how horrible things turned out for you after what you did here. You made a fool of yourself, even in front of the CEO, and he's going to make sure everyone knows about that. You really did it to yourself this time, Autumn. Th that's... Uh, I... Well, I didn't know anything about him not graduating high school. Why should I have known that? What company would have a CEO who never graduated from a proper college? You graduated from Harvard, and that's your excuse for acting like this? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see what the CEO does about this now. Actually, you're better off looking for a new company to hire you right now before he starts spreading the news about you. Wh what should I do, Aileen? I just got a letter in the mail from the CEO. He just told me that he's not going to give me another job offer and has asked that I stay away from his company for good. 
He's just pretty much ruined every chance I had of getting into that company. I'm glad to see that even he agrees with me on my decision to withdraw your job offer. I guess you've finally gotten a good taste of reality. And not just that, though. He even called Harvard and talked with them about me. He talked with the president of the school and said it's strange that someone like me would be willing to force my way into his office and complain to him. And he used that as another explanation for why he will not be hiring me anymore. Now that the president of Harvard knows about what's happened, they've told me they no longer want to give me my diploma when I graduate. Oh, my. They're not letting you graduate now? Well, I guess there's no point in even trying to find any other company to hire you. If you're not able to graduate, then no company will bother with you. But, 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 what, what should I do? There's no way this is happening to me. This is all because of you, so do something about it. What? You think this is my fault? Well, it freaking is. It's all because of you withdrawing the job offer in the first place that everything's gone downhill. If you had never even bothered to try getting my brother to marry you, then you would have never had to come to my house talking about marriage. Oh, come on now. If you hadn't hit me in the face like that, then none of this would have had to happen. Nobody's forgotten about how violent and messed up you are, Autumn. But, but that was... that was just my body responding to thinking you were a threat. Then be upset with that body of yours that thinks it's okay to hit other people like that. Hey, you are my body. Talk with your body like that and maybe it'll stop acting on its own. Wait! Can you please think of a way to help me get out of this mess? I don't give a crap about you and your mess. To be honest, I think you deserve all that's happening to you right now. Stop! Stop messing around! Why do you think I deserve to be treated like this? Now that you've done this to me, I'm going to make sure you and Fred can never be a couple. What? As long as you're with him, my life is going to be hell. So if I allow you both to get married to one another, then my life will literally be ruined. I'll never be able to do anything with my life because things like this will just keep happening. So I'm going to end you two right now. What? You get the hell away from him right now, you plague. All you plan to do is marry Fred and become a parasite to him, right? You might have a job now, but the moment you get a ring on him, you'll quit your job and feed off all his hard work. You'll be a part of his life forever and will never have to work another day in your life while you force him to work to death. I'm the one planning to leave my job. And what's so bad about her being married to me? Wait, is this you, Fred? I was watching Eileen as she sat there looking at her phone in distress. And when I came over to have a look at why she'd be looking that way, I saw that you're once again talking about her about your BS. But, but, but listen to me, Fred. Why, why are you planning on leaving your job? You finally found a job at such a nice company and you're going to quit now? Yep, I spoke with Eileen about it and that's what we've decided on. But the amount of money she brings in, there's no need for me to be working as well. And to be open about her skills, she may be a great worker, but she sucks at cooking and cleaning. <laughs> that's why I'll be the one doing all the housework for her. No way, that's not possible, Fred. A man that graduated from Harvard is going to become a house husband? That's a waste of your abilities. Doing chores like cleaning and cooking is pretty rough work, and I think it'll be a fun challenge to take on. Also, I'll be at home most of the day, so I can do anything I please. I'll even be able to learn a ton of new things while at home, which is perfect since I love to study. What? Actually, I really want to study about a bunch of other things now, but I've had to work all week, never had time to. However, now that Eileen said she'll handle working, I'll be able to finally get to work studying. After all, she loves watching me spend my days studying about all sorts of surprising things. <laughs> Recently, I've even gotten into studying about micro-ecosystems, 
and have started a small garden within the house to help me understand them better. Th that's But I'm sure you'll start to view me as the parasite now, huh? What you just said a little bit ago really hurt my feelings, Autumn. Ah, uh, no! That was... You don't have to worry about how I choose to live anymore. But if you're going to start complaining about it like that, then the only choice I have now is distancing myself from you. So once we've had our wedding, I don't want you around us anymore. Whether it's Eileen or myself, we don't want you near us. What? That... that means you want to cut ties to me, right? Well, yeah. I don't want to see you anymore while you're acting like a jerk. To be honest, I've been planning on cutting ties to you for a while now. No, now just wait a minute, Fred. Good luck with your life as an unemployed and uneducated lowlife. Hopefully, next year, you'll be able to graduate from Harvard. <laughs> Later that day, Autumn heard from her parents that they wouldn't be paying for her to go another year at Harvard. And so after hearing that from them, she's been working hard trying to make money through part-time jobs. She's a smart cookie, so she claims, so working part-time jobs should be pieces of cake for her, but she continues to complain about how she can't be seen working with people who don't go to Harvard. And because of that, she isn't able to work at many places for very long. In the end, she chose to leave school and is now living in her parents' house, never coming out of her room. She goes onto social media a lot more now, and when she sees all of her former classmates working amazing jobs and doing all sorts of fun things without her, she becomes even more depressed and recedes deeper into her room, 